Okay, the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Uh, remains constant. So let's draw a right triangle. And we have the hypotenuse is a constant. So And the triangle is called AB, and the hypotenuse is called uh, the hypotenuse is called AB. The triangle is ABC. So let's label it A, B, and C. That's a constant five feet. Both legs are changing. Let's call this leg Y, this leg X. And this represents our uh, changing picture. And we also need a snapshot picture where um, uh, one leg is decreased. Okay, so one leg is decreased. AC is decreasing at a rate of two feet per second. That there um, is telling us that dy dt is uh, two, negative two. In order for the hypotenuse to remain five feet, the other leg BC has to be increasing, and the question is. At what rate? Oh, let's let's find that out. So uh, let's get another triangle that represents the situation where it is an isosceles. Oh, did they talk about that? Oh, no, no. The rate in square feet which areas. Hmm. Oh, area of the triangle is changing. Okay. Actually, maybe we don't need a snapshot. Sorry. Um, we have x squared plus y squared is 25, and so x squared plus y squared is 25, and so we'll have dx dt, uh, 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt is equal to 0. Uh, we know d dy dt is negative 2, and we want to know what dy d, uh, d, dx, oh geez, I'm sorry. Uh, we know dy dt is negative 2, but we don't know dx dt. Um, and this, oh yeah, we do need to snapshot, I'm sorry. At the instant where the, the uh, ac is 3, so... So we have um, we have uh, AC is three. This is our snapshot picture. A, B, and C, right triangle, and uh, AC is three. AB is stuck on five. Hopefully, you recognize it as a three, four, five. So at the snapshot, Y is three, and X is five. That's our snapshot picture. So um, we know dy dt. We now know x and y. Uh, x is five, and y is three. We can go out and find out what dx dt is. So ten dx dt minus 
minus 12 is equal to 0. So dx dt is 12 over 10. Which reduces, we'll call it um, 6 fifths. Okay, now the question then turns and asks about area. Uh, the area of a right triangle, the well, area of any triangle is one half the base times the height. In a right triangle, the base is one leg and the height is the other leg. So we have the area is one half of x times y. We want to know the rate in which the area is changing. And so they're asking us for dA dt. We have to go find this. So take the derivative, dA dt. Let's leave the half out and focus on this x and y. These are each functions of time. So when we go take the derivative, we have to treat it like a product rule. Derivative of the first. times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. And we did the legwork and the, the problem did not give us what dx dt is but we went out and found it. We knew um, dy dt was a negative two and we went out and did the legwork and found that dx dt had to be 6 fifths if the hypotenuse is going to remain constant. Uh, in our snapshot, we know that y is 3 and x is 5. So we can find out what dA dt is. It is half of uh, 18 fifths. Minus 10. Oh, geez, I'm sorry. Mistake, 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 mistake. X is not 5. 3, 4, 5, right triangle. I said 4, but I wrote a 5, sorry. 3, 4, 5, right triangle. And so, jeez, uh, sorry about that. It's good to see me make a mistake wasn't on purpose. Uh, X is 4, so that makes uh, this an 8. And um, then we have uh, 12 over 8, which is, reduces to 3 over 2. That's what dx dt is. Sorry about that. So dx dt is 3 over 2. And so in here, we have it as 3 over 2. That's going to change what this is. Okay, uh, dx dt is uh, 3 over 2, so that's 9 over 2, minus 10 still. What's x? Oh, jeez. Uh, x is not 5 anymore. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, x is 4. So if x is 4, it's talking about a negative 8. So uh, 9 halves minus 8 is uh, 9 minus 16 all over 8, which is a negative 7. Oh, my over 8. Oh, jeez. You know what? I'm making lots of mistakes here. Sorry. Uh, over <coughs> over two
<clears throat> so it's negative 7 over 4. And the units in it uh, would be um, feet per second. Yeah, feet per second. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. So here's the uh, big deal. Basically, um, we had the change in picture. We had a snapshot picture. Uh, and after fixing that mistake, uh, the problem is that we were asked about something else, area. It, it, it required us to, to find dx dt. That was a mystery to us. And we were given dy dt. And so what happens in a lot of these problems, you, there's missing information, and you need to somehow relate the variables to each other to, to see how their rates are related. And that's what we did here. We found that um, if we knew dy dt, we can figure out dx dt. And so then when we go and use it in the problem, uh, we can plug in all the, all the things that we know and figure out the thing that we don't know. And so uh, that's an overview of that problem. Sorry about the uh, lazy mistakes there.